Let's add custom tooltips to an item and a block. Minecraft modding courses with close to 100 topics ranging from custom tools and armor to custom block entities all the way to custom mobs linked in the description below. Alright, we found this back in Telejones more and in this tutorial we're going to adding a custom tooltip to both an item as well as a block. For this you will require a custom item and or a custom block class, but once you have that, it is as easy as overriding one singular method. So for example, in the metal detector item class, we simply want to override the append tooltip method. And we just want to add to this list over here of text. So there's going to be the tooltip dot add. And then we can just add a text dot translatable here in this case. And the translatable takes in a string that is going to be a key. And that key is going to be translated in the en underscore us adjacent file. So we're going to say tooltip dot tutorial mod dot metal underscore detector dot tooltip let's say and we can then copy over this key and we can translate it in the en underscore us json file so we're just going to add this right here and the translated value here is going to be finds valuables underground and of course this key can then also be translated into other languages that's why the text dot translatable is so useful and we're also going to see this for the custom block over here. But in this case, I'm going to do the not as good version. That's going to be once again be the append tooltip method over here. And we will also add the tooltip.add. And here we will add text.literal, which is going to be a literal string. And it's always going to display exactly that string. That is why usually you should take the extra step to add the translatable. Because no matter what language, this is always going to be displayed exactly like this. And it is going to be makes a sweet sound when right clicked. So even if I were to change the language of the game, this would still be displayed in English, which is a little bit suboptimal. So the extra step doing the translatable usually is worth it. But that is actually all that we need to do. Just overwrite the append tooltip method in a custom class. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, found us back in Minecraft. And if we hover over the metal detector, you can see it finds valuables underground and similar. The sound block makes sweet sounds when right clicked absolutely freaking fantastic and that's already it for this tutorial right here next time in this video we will tackle the mystery that is tags hope to see you there so yeah